Welcome to Tech Brothers with Ahmed. Today we are going to answer this question and perform a demo. What is choose function in SQL Server? So we have answer. Choose function was introduced in SQL Server 2012. The function returns you the value from list of the values by using the index that you have provided in the function. So that's how the syntax is. You say select and then you have choose and then you have to pro provide the index like one two three and all that and then you have value one value two value three so let's say if you will provide index one it will return you value one if you will provide two it will return you value two and keep going so the index starts with the one that's one thing in some of other functions index start with the zero but here with the choose the index start with the one the maximum value you can have it is 254 so it's it it works between 1 to 254 and the, the data type of returned value depends upon the index number you use to select the value so let's say you have a uh, index 1 and the value here is a um, string and uh, here you have numeric here you have uh, alpha alphanumeric or here you have float or whatever so whatever the index you provide here the data type will be common uh, from those values so i'm going to show you what exactly this means this is kind of tricky and i will go in details so you provide the index uh, and then it is going to return you the value of uh, the or the data type of that value depend upon the values you have defined in the list now if you have a value with different data types choose function will return the data type of highest precedence from the list of the values so if you have a same data types like a string for all the values and this is going to return a string simple but if you have different data types for each of the values so you have uh, integer you have float you have varchar you have nvarchar uh, you have uh, xml values in the values so the highest precedence of the data type is going to take the um, uh, priority on returning it that will be the data type of your returned uh, value so let's go and jump into demo instead of uh, uh, just uh, <laughs> uh, la uh, getting lost in the definition so what we have here we have a select and I'm using choose and then I'm saying index one so I want to select the value here so I want to select Ahmed so if I will put one here it will return me Ahmed and then I have another value called Shahzad so they that's how it is going to return so it returned me Ahmed I can have more values if I want so test so if uh, now I want to select the second value I have to provide second so that's how it will work now let's get to the another definition here what we see all of those uh, values were string values so there is a uh, no problem returning those uh, values so we can put three it will return us test so all good now if i have choose and i have index here one i have a hundred here but the next value is a string here i have integer so if i will try to select that what happened so it returned me 100 without any problem but now let's uh, revert the position of 100 and Amir and see what happened now it is saying conversion failed when converting the value Amir to the integer so as we have read in the definition the choose function will return the data type of highest precedence from the list of the values so we have multiple values and then it is going to return us the data type of highest precedence so here integer is integer has the highest precedence and the string is has low precedence so when it try to convert it throws us error because the string cannot be converted to the integer so that that's the one reason so let's let me give you one more example if I will say choose one and then I have 100 here and then I have Amir and then I have 1.0 
So now, if you see here, uh, I have an integer, I have a string, I have a decimal. So if I run this one, so you see that even I'm returning 100, that is integer, but it is returning me decimal. The data type of uh, the value with highest precedence will be uh, returned. So that's how it will it will work. But if uh, the value is not able to convert, uh, let's say we try to select Amir now. Amir can Amir is a string that cannot be converted uh, converted to the decimal. It is going to throw us error. So it throw us an error. So we see the error. Then okay, error converting the data type from var chart to the numeric okay so you you need to understand when you are using a choose function let me go and show you the um, data type precedence here on the microsoft website so it is saying when an operator combine two expressions of different data types as we did in choose function the rule for high uh, data type president specify the data type with the lower precedence is converted to the data type with high precedence as we had seen that it was when we selected one and we have integer here it converted to the decimal and when we selected two it was trying to convert the string to the decimal but it got failed so let's go to the definition again if the conversion is not supported implicit conversion an error is returned when both operands expressions have the same data type the result of operation has that data type so that's very clear here is a list of 30 different data types and their precedence priorities or the the, the way you can call them from highest to the lower so first is a user defined data type second is sql variant xml and all that but we are interested in what chart let's say what chart here Let's find out uh, where is the uh, word chart. So we have n word chart here. We have uh, n text here and we have chart here. So we have word chart on 27. So n chart is uh, 28. So if you see that and the uh, integer is uh, on 16. So that's the reason uh, when uh, we try to get this value with the uh, one, it returned us fine because the integer has 16. Uh, uh, presidents uh, in the data types uh, and when we try to get uh, Amir uh, that has 27 uh, presidents uh, and the uh, integer has uh, 16 uh, so it tried to convert to the integer and uh, return us uh, the error now when we go for this definition uh, so here uh, what we see if we are selecting this integer 100 has the president's 16 and we have one value that's a decimal or numeric that uh, let's see what president it has so integer is converted to decimal let's go to the chart and take a look so decimal has 12 so it has uh, the uh, from the high, highest president is number 12 but integer has 16 so 16 is the lowest president as compared to the decimal so that's why it converted uh, integer was converted to the decimal so that works fine but uh, if we try to convert uh, amir that's a string or a, a watcher that will not be able to convert uh, implicit uh, and that's uh, how it go through us error so remember this uh, important points uh, and uh, conversions uh, when you are using uh, choose function so let's go to the next uh, real time example and see where we can use the choose function so let me show you so here what I have I have a sale uh, temp table so I created with some of the records and I have a sale date so what I want to do from the sale date I have quarter by using the um, if I will select this one let's say if I will select uh, star from this table it is going to return me records uh, let me create the table first sorry now if I will select the records uh, it is returning me the sale data what I'm interested in uh, I'm interested uh, in getting the quarter number 
and actually quote a name from this uh, table uh, so I can present that report to my users so if I will uh, want to get the quota number sorry I have to select this part only okay so if you see here I can use the date part function with the quarter and provide the data to it and it will return me the quarter numbers but I'm interested in something like this quarter one quarter two quarter three and quarter four that's why I'm interested so I can use a choose function here and this part is going to return me the this part is going to return me the numbers and one two three and four and what I'm saying if this returns me one then you return me quarter one if you return me two as the index will be two so it will return me two if you will get the value here three so return me quarter three and if a choose will have index four and that will it will use from the quarter numbers then it will return me quarter four so I can use the choose to get those quarters with the alphabets uh, let's say quarter the complete quarter one two and three so I can use quarter one uh, with the um, I, if I want to remove just the uh, this part I wouldn't say quarter one or two and all that so I can use whatever the format I want to use so there are examples uh, where uh, you will be using uh, choose uh, but uh, remember the that the data types uh, and their precedence uh, especially when you have multiple uh, uh, values uh, with the different data types uh, and uh, uh, you are expecting something different results and uh, if the conversion is happening you will be getting different results so thanks very much for watching this video and i will see you in next video